in the 450 division, finishing third on the Rockstar Energy Husqvarna factory racing machine, Jason Anderson. And in second, on the Red Bull KTM, Marvin Muskan. And your winner, riding for Monster Energy Kawasaki, Eli Tomac. Jason, congratulations. Uh, in the early laps of the main event, as the leaders kind of separated themselves, were you keeping an eye on them a little bit? Because you were kind of buried in a little bit of a pack, pretty much in that five, six, seven range. <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, I started seventh, I think, eighth or seventh. And, um, you know, at the beginning of the race, a lot of those guys, um, you know, they were riding good at the beginning, and it was this track was kind of tough. I felt like I was pretty good in the sand to uh, be able to get by a bunch of them. But, man, I think it took me eight 10 minutes to really get into third place. And then um, after that, they were, uh, you know, I was checking on them, but at the same time, I was just trying to, you know, close the gap and and um, just stay, you know, riding fast. But uh, track was slick and uh, it was tough, you know, tough to make up time. They're riding good. Marvin, congratulations. Take us through some of the battles tonight. You had a good one with Justin Hill. You and Eli went back and forth a few times. It seemed like the track ended up developing into a good racetrack. Uh, Talk, take us through those battles a little bit. Yeah, it, uh, first of all, it was great to uh, to be leading the the main event. You know, it's been uh, a long time uh, since I, I I led a few laps, so uh, put myself in a great position in the in the main, and that's uh, that's what I needed uh, tonight. Um, yeah, um, I knew th those. I knew I was not gonna <laughs> run away for those guys. Uh, they, they were they were right there, and uh, I knew it was gonna be uh, uh, good good battles and. Uh, yeah, Eli was right there, and uh, yeah, I tried to keep him uh, honest, and uh, uh, yeah, I tried to pass him back when he got me, and uh, yeah, it was a good battle. I think it was good for the fans. Uh, I tried my best, and uh, then, he, then he got me, and uh, I think he was a little quicker doing that rhythm, uh, that quad, and uh, I was uh, missing a little bit of time right there, but uh, yeah, gave my best, and uh, ended up second. Eli, congratulations. Uh, early in the main, maybe four, five, six minutes in, seemed to have a couple goofy laps where things didn't look right, and then all of a sudden it, it seemed to click and everything changed. Was that just something with you, with the track? I've, what, take us through that kind of that moment. Yeah, I just wasn't riding the way I, you know, was was riding later in the main there and got shuffled back and then, uh, you know, got past, you know, once and then twice, and then I was like, holy crap, you know, you know what are you doing now? So, um, you know, one, once Hill got by me, that's when I really got my groove. You know, once he was able to get past past me, and I was like, you know, then then I got my flow there. Um, yeah, and then after that, it was just like, you know, we just slowly started chipping away. You know, getting close to the lead there. So um, had that had that inside line in my bag from the heat race. Um, that's where I was able to, you know, to get by Marv the first time, and the second time was able to make it stick. So uh, you know, it was it was a good racetrack for us. It you know definitely took the day to you know to for it to come to us, but. Um, you know, it was good for the main. Ben Bridges, Super Stats. This is, question is for Eli. You were making your 70th start tonight. You got your 17th win. You're now tied with Jeff Stanton and Mark Barnett for 12th on the all-time win list. You're putting your name up there with some really good legends. That's that's got to be motivation in itself. You know, it's 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 awesome. Um, you know, just a single win in the 450 class is is is. One of the hardest things to come by, so um, grateful for it, and uh, you know, just just grateful I'm here to be in the position to to go out there and race and try to get those wins. Uh, Jason Wygant, Racer X. Uh, Marvin, uh, where are you? I think we ask you this every week. Where are you physically? How's the shoulder? Or do you feel you're still behind a little bit, or are you pretty much back to where you want to be? No, I, I feel great on the bike, so that's the the main thing. Um, yeah, I'm able to uh, train really good during the week and. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really good right now. So, um, yeah, I, I don't even think about it when I ride. So that's awesome. And also for both Marvin and Eli, Justin Hill was in there battling with you guys. Uh, he's never raced in a 450 class before besides Monster Cup. So what was that like battling and having a new guy in there who you really haven't ever raced before? Yeah, I mean, he, <laughs> some of the things he was doing out there, uh, he made it look easy. Huh? Um, 
I mean, to <laughs> to go quad quad on that on that section was uh, pretty nuts. I mean, that was uh, that was crazy. Um, but uh, yeah, he has uh, yeah good technique and yeah he shows some uh, some good riding uh, uh, tonight for sure. He he was riding good. He's got a good flow for that 450. Um, like Marv said, that quad quad, second quad was was pretty pretty huge. I wanted wanted no part of it. So um, <laughs> while he was doing it, it was it was pretty cool. Even with the nest, you know, like, yeah. like I, I didn't want to, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> Chris and Slack, Motocross Performance Magazine. Um, this question is for Eli. You said you had that inside line in in practice um, after the rhythm section before the sand. Uh, when you passed Marvin the first time, did you know that he was going to leave the inside open, or you were just kind of hoping that would be the case? Well, just hoping that's the case, you know, and I was able to get there, but then he was able to get back by, you know, we were side by side there, and then he, you know, screwed me up over there by the mechanics, you know, so, um, yeah, it was, at least there was an option there. Steve Guyberson with Vital MX. Uh, for any of you guys that wants to answer, talk about the that area in front of the mechanics area, watching you guys light it up through there every lap. How do you try and find traction through there? What was it like? And, and was the moisture coming up also? Yeah, I mean, I was actually trying trying to go straight through that through that really shiny section. It was uh, it was tough. Um, yeah, obviously, I, I, you didn't want to like turn into it. Uh, it was really really slick. <clears throat> yeah, I uh, I was coming in inside and trying to hit the cushion just right outside of the the shiny stuff, but I was getting honestly pretty close to like the mechanics you know what i'm saying i was coming like that close but uh i mean we're searching every every little inch of that track just trying to get uh trying to get traction tonight it was it was uh i went out there for the heat race and i was thinking that i looked at the track and i thought it was so tacky but even in the heat race it caught me off guard with how slick it was sometimes but uh yeah it, it wasn't the sand that you would expect in florida <laughs> that's for sure austin roar with uh transworld motocross this is for both eli and marvin um, looking at that sand section tonight, there was a lot of lap traffic going through there, especially later in the main event. And for you guys, both being in the lead and in second place, um, when you ran into those lappers and it kind of stopped up your momentum, um, how much does that really affect your focus when you're also in a battle with each other? Yeah, for sure. I mean, especially on that section, it was not easy to uh, uh, deal with the lappers. But I mean, uh, I was, uh, yeah, well, the one time I went to the right and <laughs> the, the guy was actually <laughs> going to the right as well. So, um, yeah, I mean, it, I don't think he really uh, bothered me that much. It, it was, I was able to, to go through that pretty good. Uh, maybe a couple times in the whoops uh, when I ran into behind those guys. But, um, I mean, Lappers is never easy. You know, they, they also uh, racing for their uh, spot. And uh, I think it wasn't too bad tonight. It was it was pretty sketchy all day, you know. Looking at the track map before the race, you're like, oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. You know, we got some sand rollers, but honestly, if you miss the main line, it was just like a disaster. You know, you're going left and right and squirreling everywhere. So um, I had one really close call there with probably three to go or so. You know, getting outside that main line again and almost tucking my front end at the end. So uh, it was tough. Jim Tomlin, Tampa Bay Times. This is the first time in almost 20 years that the Supercross series has been here in Tampa. Uh, for, for all three of you or any of you, just general reflections on how, how, you, think, uh, how you think the community responded to the event and how, how you think the track was in general. Um, I, like, I like coming to Tampa. It's uh, one less flight for me that I have to do a year. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, at the same time, you know, it's cool. You know, I, I like to watch some of the, you know, the races back in the day. And uh, it's cool to be, you know, in a, in a place to where, uh, you know, some of those 90s YouTube. I always follow 90s motocross on Instagram and kind of amp out on some of that stuff. So, yeah, we race Tampa Supercross. It's cool. Yeah, I'm glad to be, uh, to be able to race here in, in Tampa, you know, like uh, – like I said, you know, growing up uh, watching uh, uh, the Supercross on TV, uh, uh, 98, you know, 20 years ago, it's uh, it's pretty cool to to be here and uh, yeah, get on the podium and uh, race in front of the uh, the fans here in Florida. Um, yeah, it was good. It, it's always you know cool to uh, to drive from from where you, where you live, you know, to, to the race. Uh, it's uh, it's been a good weekend so far, so uh, we enjoyed it. It was good. You know, first time here and got the win, so. I like it so far. 
you didn't drive. Huh? You didn't drive. <laughs> yeah, no. We had to take the old airplane. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.